I will underline five social and political problems. This is the third one you have in the screen that impede our societies to overcome the major, the major challenges we face in Latin America and Caribbean. The first one is corruption as mechanism of lubrication of the institutional processes. The persistence of clientelist relations. Uh, politics is all about clients and negotiation and interest uh, and management or corporate interest absence of publicity of governmental acts and the lack of counterweights in decision mechanism. The evident rise of corrupting capacity achieved by the large economic groups in the global sphere. The second problem that impede our societies to overcome the major challenges, I will say is, the, is, a, is something that I call the dissolution of social, of social ties. It has to be with a strong fragmentation in terms of horizon experiences, forms of political participation and relationship with governmental ag agencies, and the, the lack of adequate instances for the open management of differences far from the conflict and violence and oppression and exclusion of majorities. The linkage with different collectivities is normally voiced and praised, but it must be taken into account that within highly competitive systems for resources, for economical resources, without effective counterweights, the, these same internal agreements become sometimes fragmentary and limit more with complicity rather than with construction of equity. The third element that, that can give us uh, a, link, uh, a key to understand what happened in, in Latin America uh, has to be about with the lack of professionalism of those in charge of the institution, especially on public service. The rotation of posts between the same political group is harmful. Instead of people with professional merits, those who can reinforce the power of the group are designated, not elected. In face, in face of changeable conditions, those mechanisms lack the capacity to respond and to be assertive. And if they are assertive, when it does exist, decisions are made with criteria that privilege political or economical profitability. That's a, a very very clear example in, in Nicaragua, where the presidential family holds the, the means of communication and not only the several ministers, ministers, and, and, but is uh, also co-opting different enterprises and economical and social uh, spheres. The fourth element that helps us to understand what is happening here and the challenge the challenges we uh, face is the absence of evaluation procedures that are beyond the formal mechanisms of representation. We are really needing to go far from a, a, a representation, a, a democracy of representation to a democracy of participation. Uh, the lack of public participation in the elaboration of development plans and in different scales the lack of clarity in the allocation of priority resources because there are no counterweight, weight and counterweight. There are no investment plans in crucial aspects of public interest. And the, the, the final element that can help us to understand what is happening here is the weakness of the approaches based on civil rights and the religious evangelical restoration. Um, Conservative groups, very often tied with religion, religious doctrines, are now woven with political groups that see doctrinal positions as a key element for the consolidation and maintenance of its social and economical position. Uh, that's true, but overall, the push against uh, the human rights perspective comes from the restrictions imposed by the process of accumulation of capital in the form of principal, 
principles that are always favorable for international capitals, for international business, for international companies, in detriment of local and regional uh, uh, inhabitants' rights.